you have laid out all the things that the White House wants to tackle, um, from the country careening toward a debt limit crisis to you know, the southern border preparing for up to 12,000 illegal crossings a day, potentially, after Title 42 ends this week. Why is the president talking about meal vouchers for canceled flights and holding a movie night at the White House with all those things going on? Because he's president and there are multiple things that the president do, does. He should be able to do multiple things as a president, and that's what you're seeing from him today. We talked about, you know, Memorial Day flights, but that's three weeks away from now. He said, you know, preparing, looking ahead to, to Memorial yeah. Day weekend. So it, it causes the question of, you know, is the president really focused on today's biggest issues when everyone in here is asking about Title 42, the debt ceiling, and we didn't hear the president talk about any of those Regular things. Regular American families, everyday families, are thinking about Memorial Day weekend. They are. And the debt limit, something that we've been talking about for months. Again, a manufacturer crisis. There is a process here. Republicans are refusing to use the process. They are refusing to use the process. There's no disconnect. No. The uniter in chief and you guys no, calling out, as you no, always say. There's talk no about disconnect. It. There's no disconnect. It is very clear. The president can do multiple things at the same time. Uh, Leader McConnell has made it pretty clear that there's little room for the Senate to be involved in negotiations over the debt limit, that, that this has to be worked out between the president and the speaker. What does the president make of McConnell's hands-off approach here? I mean, we've been very clear. Uh, look, uh, uh, there shouldn't be negotiations on the, debt, on the debt limit. This is something that they should get to regular order and get to work on. We should not have House Republicans manufacturing a crisis on something that has been done 78 times since 1960. This is their constitutional duty. Congress must act. That's what the president's going to make very clear uh, with, uh, with the leaders tomorrow. Uh, Congress must avoid default without conditions, without conditions. So this is, uh, the, pr the president is not going to, uh, you know, change course here. We've been very, very clear that they need to do, they need to do their job. Do you expect the president to arrive at this meeting tomorrow with any proposals other than a clean debt limit increase? The president's going to be as clear as he's been these last several months, as clear as I've been, as clear as other uh, administration has been, members of the administration has been, which is they need to do their job. They need to get this done on behalf of the American people and do their jobs. And does he think that he can successfully convince Kevin McCarthy to change his position in this meeting? Well, they're going to have a conversation. The president's going to make himself very clear, as he's done for several, several months now, uh, since almost the beginning of this year. And he's going to be really clear about it. Secretary Mayorkas has said you know, he's not worried about Title 42 expiring, that you are prepared, that he feels confident. Is the president confident that you are doing everything you can to, to be prepared for this? We are confident that the, with the tools that we have in front of us, that we are doing everything that we can. We have a robust, multi-agency plan to humanely uh, manage the border through. And Congress has failed to act. The president had, has taken action on this issue of the border since day one, since day one. And what we're seeing from Republican officials, what we're seeing from uh, Congress, uh, Republicans in Congress, is they want to play politics. That's what they want to do. They want to play politics and actually not deal with an issue. The president's expectations for the substance of the meeting tomorrow, he's got a very hardened position, as you have articulated. Uh, Speaker McCarthy has as well. Do you expect that there will be um, some form of trying to move the ball? And will the American people have a chance to see any of this through our presence uh, to the pool or uh, the president being willing to take questions about the meeting or anything like that? So look, there's going to be a pool spray at the top uh, for all of you. And, uh, and so clearly you will be able to catch her at the top. Uh, the meeting, it's going to be in the Oval Office. So I can share all of that with, with all of you. And it'll be at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So you have that information of the when, where, what, and why. Um, the president, we've been very clear. And he's going to make it clear. Congress, it's Congress's constitutional duty to act, to prevent default. That's what the president's going to be very clear about. President, in a room together, is there an expectation that that simple act of coming together and being in the Oval Office will somehow move the ball? Because what you're talking about is, is the same position the president has held for a while, and McCarthy has too. So do you have an expectation of movement? It's that simple. It is very, very simple. It is the right thing to do. It is their constitutional duty. It is not complicated at all. And so the question is really to Speaker McCarthy, why did you bring us here? 
Why are you manufacturing a crisis that should not exist? That is the question for him to answer.